Okay guys, we're doing another little technical video today and as I look at the questions our viewers are, are asking us on our channel, a question that comes up every now and then is what cotton should I be using when I cotton on my bait? The one with the elastic or the normal old style cotton? Well, for me, there aren't too many te technical differences in um, which one works better, which one doesn't work better. But there are a few things that I sort of figured out in my head that could affect um, or affect my choice of which cotton I'm going to use on the day. So once again, this is my personal experience and my personal opinion. All anglers out there have got their own personal opinions on what they like and, and why they use it. And I'll just explain to you guys why I prefer using certain cotton in certain scenarios. Alright, so let's start with our ghost cotton. That's what we call it. I don't know what the real name is. We always call it ghost cotton. And as you can see, it is a very soft cotton, but quite strong as well. And obviously you get different thicknesses um, from a very, very fine one to a very strong and thick one. I like to use a medium one. And so why would I prefer to use this cotton? Well, normally I use this cotton when I really want to tie on a bait nice and firm. So I'm, if I'm going to build a bait, which I'm going to try and cast as hard as I can, and I don't want this bait to change shape or, or maybe break in the air or from the whip of the rod when I cast it, I like to use this cotton because I can really wind it on nice and tight and compact that bait and keep everything together. All right, so for me, that's one advantage of this cotton is the fact that I can really wind it on and keep a bait nice and together and it won't fall apart that easily. One disadvantage I personally find with this cotton is the fact that it actually builds up on your hook and it's very difficult to get off the hook when you've built the bait. So you've literally got to get a pair of scissors and cut the cotton off. It takes a bit of time to get your hook nice and clean for your next cast. So that's a bit of a disadvantage. It builds up on the bait and it, it gets stuck everywhere and it's, it's not that easy to get off your, off your hook when you use it. All right, so elastic cotton. So the elastic cotton, what do I find personally is the advantages and the disadvantages of this? I think the first advantage is the fact that it's not very visible. After you've put it onto your bait, because it's see-through, it's not as visible as the ghost cotton that we use. And the ghost cotton can sometimes get a bit dirty if the water's got color in it and it's brown. That brown water might color the ghost cotton and make your nice white bait look a bit browner because of it absorbing that, that dirty water. And then the elastic cotton obviously doesn't absorb dirty water, so it stays nice and clear and white. So you're, if you're using a white bait, the elastic always keeps that bait nice and fresh looking. So that's the one advantage of the elastic. The other big advantage for me about the elastic, and I, I do think it's a very big advantage. When we build our baits, we often use frozen baits. So you build this beautiful bait, but it's, it's quite solidly frozen when you're done with it. You cast it into the water and then it starts defrosting. So obviously if it defrosts your, your cotton, if you were using the ghost cotton, it's wrapped on nice and tight, but now your bait's defrosting, it shrinks a bit and the cotton sits loose on it because it hasn't got el elasticity as the elastic cotton. So by using this elastic cotton, you put the elastic on under tension as your bait defrosts and shrinks a bit, the cotton always pulls and keeps the bait together in the water. So that for me is a very big advantage of using this elastic cotton, which your bait's always under pressure. So if it does defrosting and it wants to ch change its shape or shrink a bit, the elastic cotton will shrink with it and keep your bait together. So for me, that's a big plus. Right, so what negatives have I got about the elastic cotton? Um, I personally have only got one negative, which I personally have experienced with this, and that's when I fish, and there's a lot of small fish in the water, um, which we call pickers, picking at the bait. And what I found that if there's a lot of pickers picking at the bait and I'm using this elastic cotton, they actually break the cotton, and then it unwinds itself off the bait, and my bait falls apart a bit faster than it would have if I used this ghost cotton. So generally when I'm fishing and there's a lot of small fish picking at my bait, I'll definitely use a ghost cotton and not the elastic cotton because if they pick that elastic cotton and break it a few strands, it can unwind off the bait because it's under tension. So that's the only disadvantage 
I have with this. Um, so basically when I fish in an area where there's a lot of speakers picking at my bait, I just go to the ghost squatter. Right guys, so as I say, I'm not saying one is better than the other. As always, horses for courses, so which one works on the day and depending on the condition and the fish around and obviously personal preference. But that's just how I look at my cotton and how I decide on the day which one of the two to use.